Hi Gemini, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. This is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your June 21st to the 30th, 2019, that's 2019, reading for you today. Now I ask that you guys give this video a thumbs up. Also make sure to subscribe to my channel. This is the way you let YouTube know that you're appreciating the content that I'm putting up. And I'd like to start each reading with an attitude of gratitude. So I want to thank you, whether you are new or old to this channel, for all your support. You guys are absolutely amazing. I adore reading for you, and I really do hope you enjoy this video. If you would like to book a private reading with me or donate to my channel, all that information will be pinned to the top of the comment box below, meaning it will be the very first comment in the comment box below. It will also have links to the cards that I use. So let's see now, Gemini, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, what June 21st to the 30th, 2019 has in store for you. Gemini, June 21st to the 30th, 2019, Gemini. 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 Show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. June 21st to the 30th, fantastic. That's where the cards fell, so that's where Spirit wants me to stop. At the center of everything, Gemini, here you are. I love this. You are coming through as the Queen of Swords, so you absolutely know your mind. This is you. You are represented by the Swords in the Minor Arcana, by the Lover's Card in the Major Arcana. You cut through doubts and fears. You know what it is that you want. You need your independence. You also need to let your voice be heard during the last half of June. Well, not half, the last 10 days of June. You need to let your voice be heard. It's going to be imperative for you, okay? That's really what I'm seeing here. It's also creative outlets having to do with words. If you are doing anything creative that has to do with words, okay, that has to do with your, well, not even with words, with self-expression, now's the time to go for it. That is coming through loud and clear. There's a change of seasons, which makes sense. You know, we are going into summer. If you're in the Northern Hemisphere, if you're in the Southern Hemisphere, that would be winter. So here you are finding your balance. You're finding what it is that you want. You are embracing what it is that you desire. You are... Okay, let me just listen to spirit for a moment. You're finding your footing with something here. Gemini, and you're going to be way too emotional with it at times, okay? So you need to find your footing and you need to, you know, know where it is that you stand. You have a connection with something. This can be something that you've always been drawn to, okay? This could also be a person because fox, red fox, mate for life right here. And so that's what I'm seeing. There's something that you are connected to. It doesn't have to be a person. But when I see a kind of mate for life connection, that is very much telling me that there's something that you are, you are drawn to, that you are in love with. And it doesn't have to be a person, right? It can be that you are in love with what you do. You can be in love with a creative process. You could be, yeah, it's just something here. And you're finding your balance. You're finding your prosperity. Because for a lot of you, that's been something very hard to find. It's kind of like that prosperity, that balance of what it is that you love and where it is that you want to be. Something from your past is going to come up, Gemini, and you have to be prepared for it, okay? Because right here with the Six of Cups, this is negative words spoken over you. This is just, you know, something that was just, it was just too much. And it very much was a, a sense that it scarred you. And we all are scarred from our past. We all are. But here, this is saying that this has dictated the way that you see yourself, Gemini. And now it's time to heal from it. Right? Now it's time to sit there and say those words, that person, you know, those actions, they don't have that power over me anymore. And you are remembering who it is that you wanted to be, what it is that you wanted to be when you were young, when you were little. I believe very much that we as human beings, we know ourselves completely at the age of five. And we lose ourselves to what everybody else wants us to be at the age of five. For a lot of us, that's true. So here, it is finding yourself again. Even if when you were little, you wanted to be, you know, a scuba diver, you know, tap danced superhero. It doesn't matter how ridiculous it sounds. It was what brought you joy. So now you are following that joy. You are finding your bliss again. You're embracing it, but the negative words that were spoken over you, the negativity that was spoken over you or, you know, that impacted your life, that's something you need to heal from. 
<laughs> I love it. And you do. You have the Ace of Wands here. This is passionate energy. This is fire energy, right? This is God's source spirit, however you see the divine the universe, handing you a gift of passion, of creativity. That's why I say, you know, if there's something you want to go after, now's the time to do it. Now's the time to start, okay? Putting into words, saying to yourself, this is what I want. You're going to find that it changes everything. Passion, prosperity, you know, new beginnings. There is just an energy to you for the last 10 days of June, in the last 10 days of, days of June, that is beautiful, right? Now we have to see if you take this gift. If you don't take this gift, oh my gosh, well, you take this gift, absolutely, right here. We have the, then the Queen of Wands. As I said, this is going to be more of a behind the scenes kind of 10 days for you. You're going to feel much more comfortable there. You don't need to be the one out on stage having everybody look at you, but you are taking this gift. You absolutely are. Now this can also be one of your, okay, this could also be within your chart, a fire sign energy, an Aries, a Leo, a Sagittarius. If it's in your chart, look at where it is in your chart, okay? Pay attention to that because here, that's going to be at your root. That's going to be very important to you. Also, if you have another air sign, a Libra, an Aquarius, another Gemini within your chart, pay attention because that's going to be ruling your heart, all right? So just know that that's coming up here, but you take this gift of new beginnings. You take it in a very real, very powerful way. And you're starting to create, cultivate new dawns, new days are coming. Pisces energy, again, somewhere within your chart, it could be for you guys. All right. This is also a time frame, February 19th to March 20th. All right. You're going to see that what you are passionate about for a lot of you, you're going to see that change starting to not starting, but really solidifying during that time in 2020 during the Pisces time frame of February 19th to March 20th in 2020. I know that sounds weird, okay? And it sounds like a really long way away, but gosh, time flies fast. Don't trust everybody. Don't, because you're gonna be taking advantage of, all right? This is a betrayal. This is a betrayal by somebody that you love, okay? Or somebody that you were close to. It can very well be a Pisces energy here, or somebody who kind of plays with your heart a bit. Your emotions can also be another air sign energy. So just be mindful of that. Page of Wands, you're going to start gung-ho with finding your balance, going after what it is that you want, and then you're going to freeze sometimes. You're just going to be like, oh my gosh, I can't do this. I can't move forward this way. Do not let that freezing, okay? Do not let that kind of time where you just stop become your whole 10 days because it can easily take over because it's, it's fear and it's fear because of something from your past that is coming up and it's going to make you think, oh, I can't do this. It, it's, it's a right out liar. It is a liar. You can. Sun card. See, you can. You here are connected to the sun card. That's happiness. That's joy. That's prosperity. That's beautiful. Everything is changing. Everything is changing. And you're going to see it really impacting you career wise or passionately, you know, Everything is changing, and that's beautiful. Your fairy guidance. Show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. Gemini, June 21st to the 30th, 2019. Gemini, June 21st to the 30th, 2019. Show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. Simplicity, oh, I love that. An opportunity. Simplify your life. Simplify what's really important to you. Boil things down. And seize the opportunities that are coming your way. Show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. Gemini, June 21st to the 30th, 2019. Gemini, June 21st to the 30th, 2019. Show me clearly. Right here, strength, show me clearly. And enthusiasm. Oh, how pretty. Okay, so we're starting here with strength. And what this says is, inner strength is the power within that pushes actions into all areas of life. Your strength is going to be coming out. Okay, we can also see that with the, the passion that's around you, right? So your inner strength is going to be leading you forward. It's going to be guiding you to the place that you want to be. The color that's shining through here is orange. That's healing and cleansing your sacral chakra. That's where a lot of negativity ha is held from this life and past life. So it's always a good chakra to make sure that you cleanse out, okay? Then we have enthusiasm. Life is always better 
when you wake up each day with a spirit of enthusiasm. So just keep that joy to you. Keep joy to your heart, Gemini. And the color that's shining through to me here is blue. That's healing and cleansing your throat chakra. Your words are going to be highly, highly, highly important for the last, the last 10 days of June. Simplicity. Simplifying your life will bring you a sense of clarity and renewal. Simplify things. Really look at what's important to you, Gemini. For a lot of you, that's what you're going to be doing. You're going to be boiling things down. Okay, what's important to you? What isn't? How is it that you want to move forward? How don't you? Opportunity. When your eyes are open wide, opportunities you never thought possible will manifest. All right? So here, opportunities are going to come your way. You're going to have to believe in yourself and find this balance and let go of the negativity that was once spoken over you. With here, okay, it's like a serpent. If you see that right here, the way that it moves, okay? So here... This is saying that there are struggles and it has to do with you being scared of following your passion, which is at your root. So this is a time to really go after what it is that you want. With the three of cups ending the serpent line, I mean, this could be the head or this can be the head. It doesn't really matter. Okay. But I see this as it's being a fear of you going after your passion. And here it's going to be trusting people too much. It's going to be just sitting there and being a good kind-hearted person or being really enthusiastic about what it is that you're doing and, and trusting people that you shouldn't have trusted. Okay. So just be aware of that. This is betrayal. This is someone that you, you know, didn't think or doesn't have the, not the right, but you wouldn't think would betray you or hurt you. And they do. Okay. So just be aware of that. Queen of swords is at your center. That's you. You know your mind. You know what it is that you want. You know where it is that you're heading. You're cutting through doubts and fears. Okay? Guard your thoughts. But know that you need your independence. You need your sense of, of worth through other means. Okay? Which is very interesting. You need to have your sense of independence. Okay? An outlet for yourself. Your words are going to be highly important and you're having a highly creative time when it comes to your words. So this could be writing, singing, you know, any form of expression. It can even be translating words into art. So artwork and also any business plans that you have to do that involve writing up documents or communicating with people. This is a fantastic time to do so because your communication is going to be on point. Know and be mindful of being a bit sharp tongued. All air signs have to be aware of that, but especially when the king or the queen of swords shows up, it can be sometimes being a bit sharp tongued because your mind is moving so much faster than everybody else's. So know that sometimes you might have to dial it back a bit. Then we have the two of pentacles, endless prosperity. This is a change of seasons. We are going into the summer. If you're in the Southern hemisphere, you're, you are going into the winter. You are finding your balance. It has to be, you have to be grounded. It, it is a have to, I know it's a strong word, but you need to be balanced. You need to ground yourself, all right? Or else you're going to find that this, the prosperity starts to slip away. Or you feel as if, yes, there's endless prosperity, but you just don't see it yet. Or, or something like that. It's something to that effect. You have something that you love. It can be a person. It can be something that you're doing, all right? Emotions are running very, very high, and that's what makes you feel so unbalanced, all right? And if you let your emotions take over, it will knock you down, and it will stop the the prosperity that's coming in okay so here it's got it's your mind you have this prosperity moving you forward you have this abundance but it can also be for some of you gemini's you're just taking on too much and you're you're trying to balance it all and first you have to balance yourself you have to really sit there and boil down it's it's the simplicity coming through you have to boil down what's important to you then we have the six of cups the six of cups is saying something from your past it's going to be leering its ugly head. It can be words spoken over you when you were younger. It can be, you know, some, something that happened. It doesn't have to be words. It can be something that happened that really kind of traumatized you or really traumatized you. It can be from the time you were three. It doesn't have to be something that you even really remember, right? Working this out, tapping, you know, communicating, with, communicating your thoughts and ideas with yourself, journaling. That can be very beneficial or just talking to yourself. If you don't want to journal, you know, you don't have to. Letting things out, letting things go. And remembering what you wanted and who you wanted to be when you were small. 
and when the world had limitless opportunities to it. Okay? Share your wisdom with yourself. Have your inner child share that wisdom with you. That, that is definitely a goal for the last 10 days of June. Passion. Prosperity. New beginnings. New dawns. New days. That's what's coming through here with the Ace of, of Wands. God's source spirit, however you see the divine, the universe, is handing you this gift. Take it. Take it because it's astounding. Take it because you're extraordinary. Right? Take it. And you do. You're going to learn a lot. But here at your root is the Queen of Wands. But here in your clarifying is the Page of Wands. So you're going to take it. You're going to be a student of what it is that you want. At your roots, you are so sure. At your roots, okay, this is kind of the essence of who it is that you are. You are formed. You are formed to be that creative, expressive, you know, bountiful person that you are, that queen, okay, that director, that person who is fantastic behind the scenes, who makes everything run like clockwork, who makes beautiful things. That's you. You're going to doubt it, though, and know that you have to find this balance between believing in yourself and wanting to run scare, okay, kind of like a scared rabbit right here, all right? So that is what I'm seeing. And it's going to be very, very, very important because if you can channel this queen energy, this energy of kind of Hecate, all right, in Greek mythology, she's the goddess of magic. She's often confused with Cersei, who turned men into pigs, all right, when they came to her island. But if you can, if you can channel Cersei, Cersei, not Cersei, Hecate, who was the goddess of magic, okay, mysteries, there's almost nothing known about her, mysteries and understanding. Understanding your inner mysteries, Gemini, you will find that you are absolutely on fire. New dawns, new days are coming your way. Embrace your courage. A connection with spirit grounds you. We have the moon card. You have to face fears. This is going to be a time of facing fears. The last 10 days of June is really you claiming your power and claiming what it is that you want. The full moon right here, that's lighting your way. It's lighting up darkness too. So any sort of demons that hide in the shadows are going to be brought to the light. So make sure that you can face them, okay? Because sometimes those demons that are in the darkness that we carry around with us can bring us to our knees. So know that for some of you, that's going to be here, right? But once this is faced, okay, as you move forward, encourage the goddess Athena, Athena Artemis in Greek mythology, the goddess of the hunt, and the goddess Athena, the goddess of wisdom in Greek mythology, moves you forward. Okay? Wisdom and courage moves you forward. You will find that that fear, that fear that you won't be able to make it, that fear that you're eating up your luck. No, you're not. You're not. Or that fear that you're letting your luck slip you, pass you by, slip through your fingertips. You're not. You are moving forward in a profoundly beautiful way. Okay? Do not let fear stop you. Because here, I'm seeing that it will try. All right? Three of Cups. Not my favorite card at all. I'd actually like to get rid of it. But this is saying, do not trust everyone. Or trust everyone and brand your cattle. You know, that kind of thing. Make sure that you are putting yourself first. And that you're not jeopardizing yourself for another person. Alright? This is someone that you love. That you, you know. But this is someone who, and it might not be that they're really trying to be manipulative. It might just be that they think of themselves first. This is also saying, be very careful if you're putting any work out there, Gemini, all right? Be very careful who you trust because this is going to be someone who really has kind of their best interest at heart first and yours last. Page of Wands, Sun card, Wheel of Fortune, as you're clarifying, Page of Wands. Passion. This is also can be a young Aries, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy around you. Okay. But this is very much saying here, or a youthful, it doesn't have to be necessarily young. This is very much saying here that you are being a student of your passion, being a student of what it is that you want. You can also have an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius around you here with the Queen of Wands. This can be another person that helps you take these gifts of new beginnings. And it can just be that they show you what's really important to you and what isn't. It doesn't mean that they have to help you, like hold your hand. It can just be that through their actions, through 
them being, you see what it is that you truly want and the way that you truly want to move forward. You're going to be getting messages from spirit. It's going to be something tangible, something that you can feel, see, hear, okay? Listen, listen, and know that at times you are going to want to freeze. Do not get mad at yourself when you do, but do not stay in fear. Don't. Then we have the sun card, the happiest card in the whole entire deck. You are embracing your happiness. You're embracing your joy. You're embracing the way that you want to move forward. Nothing and no one can stop you. Know that this also brings up jealousy, okay? So as you're embracing your happiness, as you're embracing what it is that you love, there can be people around you who start to get jealous. This is also beauty within solitude. So really, in the... From the 21st to the 30th, there is a sense of you needing to really connect with yourself, beauty within solitude, connect with your inner soul, with your inner passion to move you forward. Everything is changing. Everything is changing. At times you feel like it's been a wild ride, like, you, like you're on a roller coaster ride, but everything is changing and things are doing a 180. It has to do with your passion. It has to do with you taking this gift. It changes the field. It changes the game. Okay? Your subconscious message, I love it. The Nine of Cups. This is Aphrodite blessing you. This is moving forward in beautiful love. This is it radiating outward. This is love guiding you. And this is healing within it, moving towards a conclusion that you absolutely adore. This is adoration. This is euphoria, all right? Subconsciously, you need to come from a place of love within yourself, within your soul, Gemini. And it'll make all the difference in the world. All right, Gemini. I hope this reading has resonated with you. Thank you so much if you've made it, well, if you've, that you've made it all the way to the end. Bravo. I've absolutely adored sharing this time with you. Thank you for giving this video a thumbs up. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. And I'll be reading for you all really, really soon. Bye, guys.